Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. Are you managing co-managed or intune managed devices? Wondering who is actually in charge of updates on your Windows machine? Is it Intune, SCCM or some other update source? Well, in this video, I will show you a quick way to find out exactly who is managing the Windows update on your machine. Whether you are an Intune admin, SCCM admin or any IT pro handling the Windows patching, this trick will save you a lot of time, especially when you are migrating the patching workload from SCCM to Intune. But let's first understand the possible source from which a Windows device can receive updates. The very first update source is Windows Update. Windows Update is a default update service provided directly by Microsoft. It is commonly used by the home users and unmanaged devices. When a device is using Windows Updates, it connects state to Microsoft public server to download and install update automatically. No need for any special configuration or management tool. A typical example would be your personal laptop or any standalone system that gets update directly from the internet without any IT oversight. The second update source is the Microsoft Update. Microsoft Update is an extended version of Windows Update. It is typically used on devices managed by Intune or controlled through group policy where broader update support is enabled. Unlike Windows Update, which focuses solely on the operating system, Microsoft Update delivers update from a range of Microsoft products like Office, Edge, Visual Studio and many more. For example, if you have a Intune managed devices and you have enabled the Microsoft Update via update policy, the device will automatically receive the updates for all supported Microsoft software, not just Windows. And the third and the last one update source is the Windows Server Update Service, also known as WSUS. It is an on-premises update management tool used primarily in organization with SCCM or traditional Active Directory environment. Instead of downloading update directly from Microsoft devices connected to a local WSUS server, to receive updates that have been reviewed and approved by IT administrator. This setup gives organization full control over which updates are installed and then they can be deployed. For example, a corporate laptop in a domain environment might only receive update after IT has tested and scheduled them through WSUS or SCCM. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also don't forget to like, share and leave your feedback in the comment section. So now let's see how we can find machine is getting update from which update source. To find this information, we have to run a PowerShell command. So right now I am on my client machine and I am going to open a PowerShell ISC as an administrator and then we have to run a PowerShell command. So let me go to the download folder and we have a script called update source location. So this is just a three simple line command script which will help us to know machine is getting the update from which source. So let me run this script. And now we can see that my machine is getting an update from Windows Update because here we can see that is default AU service is equal to true, meaning that this machine is getting the update from Windows Update. And if your machine is managed with Intune or group policy objects, then you will able to see that Microsoft Update is equal to true. And if your machine is managed using SCCM or WSUS, then you will be able to see that Windows Server Update service is equal to true. And one of the interesting point I would like to show you that if we go to the Access Worker School, 
and go to the account and go to the access worker school you can see that this machine is managed using intune and if you go to the info section we can also see that this machine is also getting an update ring policy from intune but still this machine is getting the update from windows update so i will talk about more how to fix that particular issue but for now for this video we'll see that how we can find the same information in bulk for your production devices so to find this information what we have to do we have to deploy the script in all the endpoints if you are using sccm you can use the script feature and you can find this information and if you are using intune then you can use the proactive remediation detection script for this demo purpose i am going to use the proactive remediation detection script so let me go to the intune portal go to the devices and then we have to create a script let me quickly create a script and i am going to give a name patching source location click on next and then we have to provide the detection script and i will provide the script link in the description section so let me open this and then we have to select run script in 60 foot bit powershell and click on next and click on next and in the assignment you can select the specific assignment group but for now i am not going to select anything and let me click on next and click on create and now we have to go to the devices and select the device on which you want to trigger the script so let me select my test device which is this one and click on run remediation and select the script and click on run and then we have to wait for some time to get the result and under the device status we have to go to the columns and add two more columns proactive remediation detection output and filter and click on apply and then scroll right a little bit and click on the review and now we can see that we are getting the same output machine is managed using windows update which we are getting when we are running the script manually on the device and if your machine is managed using microsoft update you will able to see that intune/gpo and if your machine is managed using wsus then you will able to see that scm/wsus so based on this information you can take the corrective actions and in my upcoming videos i will talk about how to automatically remediate if your machine is not showing the right source location and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more intune and powershell tips and drop a comment if you have any question on this topic i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video